look, 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 look. I cleaned the lens. There's no more fucking flares. Eee, that's fucking awesome. Dude, today is dynamic bench. We're doing 245 pounds, eight sets of three. Being that it's 85% this week, it's one, it's one to three reps of 85%. So it's eight sets of three. So I'll go three, and then if I get doubles, I get doubles. If I get singles, I get singles. Now the object is three reps for eight sets. But if you get a one, that's fine. That's fine. It's it's the way it's designed, and I had forgotten about that when I uh, when I originally wrote the uh, program because I've done I've done so much. I've been writing so much and all that on the program, and uh, just little little tiny oversight. So eight sets of three. If I get singles, I get singles. It's 245. So we're gonna do the 50, 60. 50, 60, 70% of the warm-ups of uh, whatever we're doing today. So it'll be like 135, 185, 205, and then we'll get right into it, I believe. But let's let's see. So we're going 245. So do I do the do I do it off of 290? Yeah. So we're gonna do it off of 290 because the 290 is the uh, one rep max. So when you do the dynamic days, the way the Odin power plant is set up, instead of doing the it's 50, 55, and 60% of dynamic and speed work, we're not doing like speed work. We're doing overall intensity work. So the dynamic work is, in a sense, sometimes it's heavier. Week one is 65, week two is 75, week three is 85% of whatever your one rep max is uh, for that week or for your time. My time is 290, so like, I haven't passed 290, but I'm gonna still be training off of the 290. So today's warmups are uh, 145, 50%, 145, and then we have 60% is 174, so we'll do 170 and 70%. It's 203, so we'll do 200. And then our working sets are 245. Those, that's our warm-up sets. 145, 170, and 200 pounds. This is a conjugate system, so everything is percentage-based. That means when you're stronger, the percentages get easier. Not not easier, the percentages go, go up because your weight goes up. So like, my warm-ups will go up, in, in which case, I get stronger. Uh, it's a conjugate system. It's a, uh, it's a uh, percentage-based system. It's the Odin's power plan. So, that being said, we have dynamic bench and dynamic close grip bench today. Both are eight sets, so we got 16 sets of bench. Dumbbell shoulder press, lateral raises, front raise, dumbbell curls, rope press on, and dips. Today, we're gonna try and get five likes on today's video. If you guys like this kind of content, like it. Sub the channel so you don't miss out on any more content, any more training. So, I'm also a Tiger Fitness affiliate. There's a link in the description. Use that link, get yourself some supplements. By using that link, it helps me move up the ladder for Tiger Fitness, and then with that, I can give you guys free stuff. I give you guys the deals first. Also, I'm paired up with EWG, Elite Warfare Gaming. It's a eSports organization where it's all gaming. Guys are into Call of Duty, guys are in the COD. Uh, they have an eSports team and all that kind of stuff. Link in the description, check them out, check out the roster. Uh, there's a link in the description, grab that link, get yourself a t-shirt, help support EWG. Also, if you guys wanna help the Odin Power Plan, link in the description, grab some merch, Odin Power Plan merch. It's cool. This shit's aggressive Viking type fucking uh, uh, merch. So check that out. If you like that, snag some of that. The profits are going to go towards me, Public Sheen, the Odin Power Plan. I'm having a really hard time uh, talking today. I'm looking at the clear image on my camera because I cleaned that lens. It looks fucking nice. Anyway, so we have dynamic bench, eight sets of three. We have warm ups. Uh, I think I'm just going to get into the warm ups and just go. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty well warmed up today. I don't think I need to do any rotator stuff. We're gonna get probably three to four sets of three at 245, and then we're gonna probably start getting our singles. There's eight sets, so if I get half of them to three, last time I did this, I didn't hurt myself, but I tweaked my shoulder. I was just, it beat it up really bad, so I've been, I've been babying it. So today is, we're back at it, we're back at it. So 245, eight sets of three. If I get singles, I get singles. If I get doubles, I get doubles. This is the Odin Power Plan. This is powerlifting. This is not bodybuilding. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, like the channel, this hoodie, I washed it, and now the hoodie's like super tight because when you dry stuff, it gets super tight to your face. All right, ASUS 3, 245. I still gotta hang up all this fucking plywood. I got shit tonight. I got plywood over there. I got plywood back there. I got plywood over here. I hang this up, finish these walls, hang up some insulation. It's getting cold in here. I don't imagine I have a lot more to do. I don't have a lot more to do. It'll probably take take a couple days, whatever. I just gotta get the get the material and everything. Let's see, dynamic ASS3, 85%, 245, Odin Power Plan. Let's go.
right, that's the warm-ups. Damn, it looks so nice having the fucking uh, lens clean, dude. It's like clear. Uh, two plates and a 10. 225, 35, and 45. 245, eight sets of three. Quick, quick warm-ups. Uh, usually, like I have been doing the dumbbells, side laterals, and rotator cup. Uh, I'm feeling all right, I'm feeling kind of healthy today, so we'll try and uh, get it back. Yesterday was shot. So yesterday's list, yesterday's video, dude, I was dizzy all fucking day long. All day, dude, I was dizzy at work all day long. Uh, the, only, the only thing I did was drink a lot of fucking water. I have no idea, but I wasn't in the wrong for stopping yesterday, that's for sure. Today is dynamic. 245, eight sets of three. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to uh, get all these in. I don't think this is set right. Oh, I can't adjust? And that's the difference. This is the setting I like to have on this camera. That's probably why it was like messing with me so much. It's still clear as fuck, it's just, it's a different like uh, filter system. I like this filter. Uh, I don't know why, but we're gonna see. That's the difference. Anyway, well, if I like the other one better, if I'm editing, I'll remind myself to move it back. Anyway, Dynamic ASUS 3 245. This is the older power plant, this is Dynamic, so there's 16 sets, so the overall intensity and the overall workload for this is insane. This is why my bench probably went up as fast as it did. Eight sets of three. We'll get as many threes as we can, and then we'll go doubles and then a single probably for the last one. But I'm gonna try and hit three for all of them. Let's go. Damn, I forgot I don't film every set. That's two and three. So I'm not gonna film the rest. I'll film the last one. And then I'll I'll tell you guys, I'll, I'll, cause I'm gonna write it down. I'll tell you guys right now it's, woo. Can't read my handwriting. <laughs> two sets of three. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know what I do. It's gonna be interesting cause I'm gonna learn, but I'm not gonna film eight sets of, of pressing. You guys aren't gonna wanna see eight sets of pressing. If you guys wanna see eight sets of pressing and you've made it this far in a video, let me know in the comment section if you wanna see all 16 sets. I doubt any of you do. So, the rest of them I'm not gonna film, I'll film the last one. I'm doing one minute rest intervals in between. Whew, what was it? Six more to go, let's go. Yo, so, the last one I only got two on. So I've gotten three all the way, I've gotten six threes and one double. And this is the last one, I'm gonna try and get a, a trip on, adult, on the last one. Uh, it was, I don't wanna slow down. I don't want that real slow grind. I want to take what comes, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to over intensify smaller muscles because usually when it gets slow, my elbows come out. When it gets slow, my elbows will come out and then it'll be like mostly front delts and shit. I don't want that. So I want to keep my elbows in as much as I can, not like straight in, but like at a decent angle using my lats. But as soon as my elbows kind of flare out a little bit, that's what I call it. I don't want to, I don't, cause I don't want to fucking damage the front delt. I'll save that kind of shit for like comp day, you know what I mean? So, this last one, I'm gonna try for three. If uh, elbows start coming out on the two, I'm just taking a two. If, it, if they, if they, if it's good, I'll go for three. You guys let me know in the comment section. Uh, if I go for three, if I should have stopped at two. Let's see what happens. Damn, 
when I was breathing in, <clears throat> I started choking my spit on that third set or that third rep. And so I did get three. And it was easier than the last two, weirdly enough. We have close grip bench next, 225. <clears throat> eight sets three. Same situation, I'm gonna film the one, film the first one, film the last one. It says three, close grip, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets. There's three, three rep sets and four, two rep sets. Uh, the fatigue started to set in after the 11th set, technically, because there's 16 total sets. So I did eight regular bench sets, and then I did the, the three close grips of three, and then the fourth set of the close grip was just two. That's when the fatigue started to set in. I've been stuck at two ever since. This last one, I took a little bit more of a rest time, but I. I, I'm, I'm only probably gonna get two. The fatigue is, is crazy. So remember, this is 85% of my maxes. So like, it may not be a lot of weight to you guys and to some of you guys who are fucking crazy, crazy strong compared to I am. Uh, it's 85% of my one rep max for close grip bench. So that means it's, it, in a sense, it's fucking heavy for my strength uh, parameter. So this is only 225, by the way. For those of you who are like, oh, you know, how much? It's 225. My one rep max is 270 pounds. So 85% of that is 25, it's a little bit more than 25, but I scale everything back. All right, so last set of this, and I believe it's gonna be two. It's been two the whole time, and, and I don't have any more power than that, so I'm not really gonna push it all that much because we don't break records during training, we break, break records during comp. So here we go, 225, last set of two, let's go. Sets. Talk about fatigue. I don't know what the fuck was up with the other sets. That's weird. 40 pound dumbbell shoulder press. The rest of the accessories is the same as it's always been. We have dumbbell shoulder press, we have lateral raises, front raises, dumbbell curls, rope press ups, and dips. Everything's for as many reps as possible, three sets a piece. 40 pound dumbbells is 80 pounds on the shoulders, so 40 pounds, it's, it seems to be fine. I mean, I'm not like upper echelon kind of uh, uh, athlete, whatever. I'm just a, just a gamer slash athlete, so. We got a comp in March, so I'll do what I do what I can on the day I can do it. Put upon dumbbells, short press, let's go. So I don't know if you could tell, but I didn't like the way that felt. That didn't feel good on that shoulder at all. It kind of rolled weird. I'm not, I'm not doing those. Uh, I don't know what else to do for shoulder press. Uh, that's, that's kind of alarming. That kind of hurt, uh, unfortunately. I kind of want to do one more set to see if it's fine or if it's not, if I just fucked up doing it, but it, I know because it feels goofy. So we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. I'm just going to go about that. We're not going to do it. I don't want to fucking keep hurting that, whatever the fuck that is. That was weird. Uh, we're gonna move on to lateral raises, which is 25 pounds, and uh, we'll just do as many as we can. Let's go. Okay, so that's pivotal. So like whenever you're training and you, and you notice something's weird, something's off, don't fuck with it, move on. Train around it. Because those felt fine. There's not, was, that, those were good, those were good to go. So I set the timer, we got 36 seconds left for the next set. Yeah, if you ever feel anything screwed up, whatever, 
Don't just stop your training, just work around it. I did lateral races, they felt fine. 100% fine. I'm just not gonna do any shoulder press. That motion was goofy. I got that dumbbell up there, I was like, oh, what's that? And I pressed, I was like, huh. I got it to where it felt like I wasn't using, I was using more lats, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause after this week, we're gonna go deload. Deload next week, everything goes down to 50%. That is a key to the conjugate system. You go 65, 75, 85% each week for dynamic training. Dynamic bench, dynamic close grip, dynamic squats, dynamic deadlifts. Each week you go 65, one week, 75 the next week, 85 the next week, and then 50% of whatever your one rep max is, and you just go through the motions. It's pivotal you do that, that way that whole week, your body can repair. After this week, this is a hard week, this is a hard week, so now this is the week that you listen. This is the week that you pay attention to your body. 85%, you don't wanna fuck around because you could get hurt. Remember, it's 85% of your one rep max, so it's like, that's up there, it's not 85%, just 85% of like reps, or it's 85% weight intensity, so it's kind of, it's kind of insane. So, lateral raises, two more sets, 25 pounds, 20 reps, let's go.
here we go. The only thing I didn't do was rope press downs. Naturally, my triceps got a hell of a workout with all the uh, other pressing, so I'm not really too concer concerned about that. I should probably double up on bicep for uh, dynamic days, honestly, because the triceps gets get worked so hard in those the heavy pressing sets. There we go, that's the full dynamic day. Hopefully it, it does, uh, it benefits me for max day coming in two days. So from here on out, it's pivotal that I eat correctly. I get all my calories in and get ready for max day. Tomorrow's active rest, Whew. in which case active rest, we work on uh, our weaknesses. Mine would be a lot of things. Uh, biceps, uh, lower back, reverse hyper, sit-ups, wrist curls. I go pronated and supinated, or pronated and supinated. And uh, trying to think what else, what else is a weakness? Obviously my legs, so I mean, I could probably do some uh, bell squats tomorrow, leg raises and leg curls, because Friday is dynamic uh, deadlifts and squats. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be uh, a, bunch of, a bunch of goodies, a bunch of weakness stuff. It's pivotal that these active rest days are used to work on your weaknesses. Uh, in case you guys have not followed along, active rest days are in the Odin Power Plan, and the Odin Power Plan is designed to get you stronger. So in order to be stronger, you have to get rid of weaknesses. If that, if that makes sense, that makes perfect sense. So there's days specifically designed for working on weaknesses, which are called active rest days, because you're not, you're not gonna train super crazy hard on your weaknesses. You know, they're not fun to do. It's, it's usually shit you don't like, like if you're not a cardio person, you don't like cardio, so you're not gonna go fucking in on cardio. You know, it's active rest, so get your blood pumping, get your heart rate up, feel good. Don't overdo it on your active rest days because the heavy training cycles, the heavy training days are coming. You know what I'm saying? So the active rest days are literally just to get blood in the muscles. If you're if you're tight, loosen up, stretch, do whatever. But yeah, whoo, that's it, man. That's dynamic bench out of the Odin Power Plan. And I think I'm real close, guys. Just sitting down and spending two days on putting the fucking book together and publishing it. If you guys want to help me publish it faster, link in the description, buy some merch. Link in the description. The merch is all Viking oriented. There's shirts that's designated for certain types of things. So it's pretty dope, it's pretty dope. Check it out. Let's see what else we got, what else we got. That's it. Tomorrow's active rest. Max bench in two days. If you guys are interested in what the max bench is going to be, the goal is 295. Let's see if we can hit it in two days. Till then, let's see if we can get five likes on today's video. Sub the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!